Sean Sport in podcast form. We are catching up with Sean Darcy just in a second for your chance to be the Bank West docker for a day, including five tickets to the game and oh. more. Hit up uh, NovaFM.com.au. That's actually AU. how Sean Darcy got started. Yeah. Sean, is that right? You became the doctor yeah, of the day doctor, and away yeah, you went? Sure. And I went, wow, went. that's a tall kid. Yeah, this wow. kid's six foot ten. Let's <laughs> <laughs> play ago, him. I think. <laughs> yeah. I doing that 20 years ago. What yeah. number were you drafted back in the day when Fremantle pick you up? Uh, 38. 38? 38. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In the under-18s comp, who were you playing for? Geelong Falcons? Geelong Falcons. And um, were you all Australian? How did you go in that year? Give us a no, rundown. No, we... Uh, Geelong Falcons and then played Vic Country. And yes. then um, we got we were terrible. We had a really good team. Vic Country is the sort of team that they just throw together. Yeah. Do no training. And then, like, you train for the first time a week before the game. Who cause... else was in your team, in the Vic Country team, that's made a name for themselves? Uh, Hugh McCluggage. Oh, yeah? He's uh, jet. Jared Berry. He's um, good. Will Brody, um, there was a fair few. I got a question. When did your giganticism kick in? <laughs> yeah, I was always big. Like what, from what from what year? What year? <laughs> <laughs> from there? From like from like years like primary school? Primary school, I was always the tallest, and then. When year seven, I shot up a bit. Got yeah. to like six foot when I was in year seven. Yeah, because so. like, I got I, I got so tall in year seven that I had to have a teacher's desk. So they yeah. it, was it yeah, the, same? the same. Yeah. So it wasn't it great to have a filing cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> for all your filing needs. Yeah. For your drawings. Well, for your you cra- cra- filing drawings. cabinets yeah. in, that, in yeah. our desk. There was nothing in there. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing. I, I, I just for you, uh, only knowing Aaron Sanderlands and Spider Sanderland, uh, sorry, Spider Burton, when you're that tall, when they were tall guys there was an embarrassing part to that I felt going around with them because everyone's pointing at them everyone's well, all and Sean yeah. never wears heels which is <laughs> ridiculous because he looks great enough did you ever feel that way oh, a little being bit being bigger than everybody uh, else yeah you sort of like hunch your shoulders and put your head down oh. a little bit when you're growing up but eventually you grow into it and oh. you like being big. you're always it's beautiful string yeah. bang <laughs> <laughs> so um, there was a little bit growing up but that's all kids you know what at least you worked out your coordination though because some people that, mm. that are that tall you, you go through a, such an unco phase and sometimes there's no coming out of that mm. Was I it found. always footy for you, or did you think about basketball? Yeah. Obviously, that's an option. Played basketball, did a fair bit of swimming. Uh, did when you're in a country town, you just you do, do every all. sport that yeah. you sort of do. Um, my older brother was—he's got Down syndrome, and he was a quite good swimmer. He went to the world titles and did he won a few golds and a few silvers? Did he, yeah. he, didn't you say he won five golds? Five golds and four See, silvers. Amazing, Does he rub it? that in your face? Yeah, all yeah. the time. And yeah. he had two world records. So every time oh. I get. Get a bit, bit <laughs> arrogant. Yeah, he bit, comes bit back. He's like, "How many world records you got?" I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. so, what, were that, what, what distances? What he stroke? Did, yeah, he's butterfly, free stroll, and anywhere from fifty to two hundred. He was very good at. So. Yeah. How do you do? No, and it's impossible almost to do fifty meters butterfly. Like I know we've been watching the Olympics, right? What are you so talking about? It's it. possible to do one meter butterfly. Yeah, two hundred mm. fly was probably the worst, worst event of yeah, all time. Horrendous. How do they do that? I always just it's just amazing to see them. How, now I want to talk about the footy. <laughs> so, so it is a massive game for Fremantle it against is. Geelong. This year you've never won. You haven't won more than three games in a row. What do you think that is? I think the competition. So even this year, um, if you look it throughout is all over everyone, the shop, isn't like, it? Yeah. no one's qualified for finals yet. So if. Which is ridiculous around what twenty two that we yeah. are this week. So I think it yeah, it highlights how even the competition is and if you have well, if you're a percentage off in that yeah. AFL you get paid at the moment. Do you want to talk about last week? <laughs> We've we've talked about it last know, week a lot. I know, I know, and last... it was heartbreaking because yeah. you you looked to me to be home and host, yeah. and they just really got on a tear, didn't they? Oh, the they, momentum yeah. swung really significantly. Yeah. When Josh Tracy went down, seemed to be the catalyst for yeah, it. Yeah, there was a lot of things that we yeah. got wrong um, in the centre bounce. There was a lot that we got wrong that we had to <laughs> own up and um, sorry to make look you talk at. about it again. So um, there was a passage of play where they had 19 disposals kick three goals and we didn't touch it so um, I mean that's not great no that's say it not like great that. so um, are you going to yeah. touch it this time around yeah, hopefully we can I'm touch it I'm guessing Justin well, has pointed that out to you a bit yeah. this week yeah it was it was it was in the review quite heavily <laughs> which is good, not, what, not what you like seeing but no. the best thing it was a six day break so we got to concentrate on Geelong yeah. so. this is good though now we all know what to do <laughs> touch the ball exactly exactly don't let the opposition do it that's all the way to the goals thank you Thanks, Dockers. Is it hard to pick yourself up? You, we're coming to the pointy end of the season. It has been like this 
for the last month anyway. Every game matters. So this yeah. game absolutely matters. It matters for Geelong, 250 games yeah. for Jeremy Cameron. He's an absolute freak show, so he's going to be hard to stop as it is. And then you're playing in a... It's it's do or die, really, to be able to keep yourself right up there. Yeah, exactly. So um, we feel like the last few games we've been playing in really high-pressure games. It was Essendon's do or die, and then the Eagles yeah. got up in that first half to play. So um, these are the games you want to play. Um, you don't really want to play the 100 game yeah. point wins and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, no, so they're awful. These ones are exciting. <laughs> no, exactly. Port no. Adelaide been whinging about it all week. <laughs> <laughs> but these are like you after this game and if it's a really tough contested game, you look yeah. at each other in the eyes and you're like, that was yeah. tough. And like, leading those, into the finals, it's yeah. a good it is a good this kind is of a, yeah. this is what you want to play. What number yeah. of game are you up to in your career? Uh, played 100 this year, so 110 hey. or 112 or something. He's on his way, Sean. Plenty more to yeah. He's on his way, Sean. Yeah. 228. Yeah. All you need is 229. <laughs> that's retire. the benchmark. That's the benchmark. That's the benchmark. like sucked in, Sean. Yeah. It's uh, going to be one hell of a bat. It looks like uh, De Koning. Well, De Koning is out. Yeah, yeah. So you'll have a mix of guys, hybrids playing against yeah, you. Yeah, I think Stanley's back. So he's been playing. He played majority ruck and then Blitz Arves. He comes in a lot, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. What have you been enjoying from the Olympic Games? Um, I've been loving swimming because yeah. yeah. I've done a fair bit of yeah. swimming. And then um, I'm good mates with Deck, um, who goes out with Nina Kennedy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So oh, isn't oh, oh, that a great win? Yeah, oh, so amazing. that was great. Did he it. go over to see Yeah, her? he's mm. over in Paris, right? So, mm. yeah, it was. I was watching. I don't really know. I was like, why didn't she jump higher? Like, why can't you go? But, like, because, <laughs> yeah, like, why don't you go 20 centimeters exactly. rather than 10? All these yeah. things yeah. I was messaging yeah. him in. Yeah. He's I just like, you have no idea. I know do you? She, yeah. go she should have a longer pole than everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Why isn't she uh, doing that? I, I, and all the commentators doing all the technical stuff. I was yeah. like, yeah, I don't see that at all, but sure, <laughs> no. that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Steve Hooker, he's, uh, he's been really good at Yeah, you? he you know, has been terrific. You know, I was listening to the, the rowing. And mm. I've been watching, and it's James uh, Tomlinson. Yes. Yeah. He's not giving enough. He's a gold medalist. <laughs> well, okay, let's um, sure, let him we know. Need, uh, I've, I've got this idea for this segment that I want to do for years, mm. and it's called The Problem With You Is. <laughs> and, and we right. invite people on, and then we just tell them the problem with them. To be we fair, though, Sean, he's <laughs> used idea. to being in a four, so... Oh, he, need, he just needs three other people I, around him yeah. to, to, to do the job. Paint a picture, please. <laughs> like you. <laughs> We've got a double pass to see Fremantle take on Geelong this Saturday. It's tomorrow. Let's hear from the Purple Army from the Bank West Best Seats in the House. Call the number six. We'll get them. 13, 24, 10. Sean, it's going to be an absolute belter. Make sure... Oh, I'm sure you're going to be up for it. What am I going to say that for? But, yeah. um, <laughs> Nothing yeah, that you best, say is going to make a difference because it's going to try really hard to so, But I, I reckon you're right now. <laughs> good yeah. good luck, Tom. Thanks, guys. Thanks, mate. Sean Sport in podcast form. All right, you can catch the Olympics live and free on Channel 9, 9 Gem and 9 Now. We've been doing it all over the last 12 know, days. It's been amazing. Over. I can't believe it. it finishes on Sunday night, Monday yeah, morning. Now. Monday morning. <laughs> uh, we got the opportunity this morning to catch up with the legend that's Andrew Gaze, and uh, this is how it went. Yeah, it was a remarkable uh, semi final in both of them, in fact. Uh, uh, France, the home uh, nation, they beat the current world champions, Germany. And mm. uh, then we've seen, well, it was on the cusp of one of the all-time greatest upsets in Olympic basketball history. Yeah. Serbia leading it by 13 points at three-quarter time. And in a remarkable turnaround, the United States overran them in the last. But it was uh, a cracking game. They ended up winning by four. Steph Curry, 36 points, if you don't mind. Oh. And um, the great LeBron James, a triple-double. And Joel Embiid, who is booed yes. whenever he touches the ball, yep. even when he comes up on the big screen on the telly, they're booing him. Mm. But he had a huge game with uh, 19 points and was a big part of the win. Uh, I do really... Uh, Serbia, I wanted them to have their cool runnings moment. You know, it's the, it's the team that you don't think is going to get up there. And I bet you they're all thinking, oh, my God, this is going to happen. This is going to happen, and then it doesn't. But, you know, that's amazing to be that close. Well, and no, if they had the... The whole the world wants to yeah, see the USA yes. men's go down, don't they? And they of course, really do. because Serbia beat us, it would have been more gratifying. Exactly. Like, no, they, they no, they're were good. that good. Yeah. They're good. <laughs> It, yeah, it was amazing to see. Um, going back to Joel Embiid, to see the crowd booing him, for everybody out there, he had the choice to play for France mm. um, or the USA, and he chose the USA. It would have been interesting the other way around because he, the, the French basketball team, they're bloody good as well. Well, they are, but uh, they've all. I don't know whether he would have fit in, in that team. they got Rudy Gobert, oh, yeah. who's a seven-footer, and they got Victor Webanyama, who mm. is... Uh, 
It, well, they call him the unicorn because he's inside, he's outside, he can shoot the three, he does a bit of everything, but he's 223 centimetres, which I think is about 7'3", maybe 7'4". <gasps> yeah. So he, they've, they've got a lot of size on their roster. So I don't know whether he would have fit into, um, into their program anyway, but it's going to be a great final because I've never seen a man booed more for just <laughs> making a choice to play for the United States. He hasn't really done anything wrong to... To the, to the French, he just chose the United States over them. So yeah. he's, he's seven foot what? Seven three. three. Seven Victor three. Yeah. And imagine how long his knee high socks are. Mm. They must be gigantic. Two meters. <laughs> Two <laughs> meter long knee high socks. <laughs> 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 hey, Gacy, the post mortem on the Boomers is obviously in full swing now. Um, you know, yeah. the, the, the coach is gone, um, and and yep. uh, there's a lot of chatter about the fact that they didn't select Matisse Tybal in the at the beginning, in the, and people yep. were saying that beforehand. It's not just in hindsight. What do you reckon? Did they make selection mistakes or were they just outclassed? Uh, no, I think that when you, you look at it, they were 24 points up against Serbia. Yeah. And you can obviously, it's a setback that we lost that game. But to get 24 points up, clearly you've got some uh, some good tools to work with. Uh, Matisse, uh, we, we had a, a, a real depth of talent in his position and they chose to, to not go with him. I mean, you can second guess yourself, but... I think that Dyson Daniels is in that position and he had an exceptional uh, tournament. So, uh, you know, in hindsight, it's it's easy to second-guess yourself, but unfortunately things didn't work out. I think they were valiant valiant against the um, the Serbia team who we saw how great they are Mm. uh, today when they all well, really unlucky not to have beaten the United States. So the difference between the very top teams is is really small. I think Brian Georgian, he has been a, a made an unbelievable contribution. As you mentioned, he, he stepped away. I think that was pretty that was planned, pre-planned. regardless yeah. of yeah. what they what they were going to do. So um, uh, I think we should pay homage to him and respect for his incredible contribution. I think he was at 16 years he's been involved in the, the Boomers program over two years. And, of course, um, we'll go down his history as, as the coach of our first medal-winning team. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Gazy, um, when the Olympics wrap up, are you straight back on a plane home or do you get to soak up Paddy for a little while? <laughs> I, I get a couple of days uh, yeah. off. My family's over here, so I'm, oh. I'm coming back there. It finishes on the Sunday. I come back on the Thursday, so <laughs> it's not a lot of time. But um, we're going to head down to Bordeaux. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. la la! la, la. So, yeah. and everyone I tell, uh, all my friends, when I say that, now I'm going there because that's where my family are going to head down there. They and they can't understand it because they reckon it's unbelievable wine country, and I've never had a sip of wine in my life. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what I'm going to be. I don't know what I'm going to be doing down there. Maybe just watching them step on grapes or something. Yeah. I don't, I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah, fine, right. We'll have um, three bottles of the finest wine and one one, yeah. one bottle of Sprite, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, uh, Daisy, water. Yeah. Before we let you go, we better just touch on oh, the Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got carried away can, with the boys. Can they actually get it done against America? It is a gargantuan task. Uh, why not? Yeah, it is. It is a tough assignment, but they would gain some um, inspiration by, by what they saw from Serbia mm. uh, tonight. And what we've seen from the, the women's team is they have had little glitches. Even the first half in the quarterfinals against Nigeria, Nigeria were into that game up to their eyeballs. They, they were only six down for, or four to six down for the bulk of that first half. So it's 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 going to be a tough challenge, and they certainly will go in as the ranked underdogs, <laughs> but um, you know, emotion, you get it, they get them on a, on a bad night, we can knock down some, some shots, anything can happen, but it, it is going to be a really tough assignment, and the unfortunate nature of the draw that we're on their side, so yeah. if we um, if we don't do that, then we'll be we'll be battling it out for the bronze. Can you just see Lauren Jackson coming on in the last couple of minutes yeah. and taking it to the hole and getting Australia over the yes. line? That's yes. what I see. Wouldn't it's going to be, be fantastic, on. wouldn't wouldn't that be fantastic? And, um, you know, it's not, although she didn't play in that quarter final, uh, don't write her off. We saw that in the World Cup. She only played one of, a few minutes in the semi final against China a couple of years ago. And then on the next night, she came out in the bronze medal game and dropped 30. Yeah, she's against, the goat. Uh, yeah, she's as old as you, though. So, you remember uh, that, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, um, she's still got some life left in her. And, yeah. I, and in, in the right matchups with the right set of circumstances, um, she, she might get, she might be able to contribute a little bit more on the floor. Well, I hope so, too, Miracles do happen, so well, anything's possible. Andrew Gazer, an Australian yeah. treasure, mate. I yeah. hope you enjoy 
enjoy the game oh, over overnight you. and Bordeaux and, and as enjoy well. Enjoy Bordeaux. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks very much. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.